guys, welcome to Bad International. I'm PJ and today we'll be talking about the Bruger and Thomet APC lineup. So the APC guns come in the APC-9 and the APC-45 variant. Now the APC-9 is chambered in 9mm, while the APC-45 is chambered in 45 ACP. Let's talk about Bruger & Thomet. Bruger & Thomet is a Swiss-based manufacturer that's based in Thun, Switzerland. It was founded by Karl Bruger and Heinrich Thomet back in May 1991, so it's fairly recent compared to other gun manufacturers. The APC was designed to be the modern take on the HK MP5. This is the APC9 Pro, which means that with the Pro design, you have the AR-15 pistol grip, the ambidextrous safety selector that's similar to ARs, and you also have a trigger that's very similar to AR-15s in the AR platform. Now with this one in particular, it's using an Elfman tactical drop-in trigger. So you just drop in your AR-15 trigger system and it should work with the BNT APC lineup. Now with the APC-9 and the APC-45, what sets them differently from other pistol caliber carbines is that they have the Trilog adapter similar to the MP5 because like I said earlier, they're the modern take on the HK MP5 which means that you can take your suppressor instead of threading it on, you simply drop it in, push down, rotate, and you're good to go. Now the beauty of this gun is that you can fire it suppressed and it's very quiet. Now with the BNT APC, it has a non-reciprocating charging handle that's ambidextrous. What that means is that you could rest your thumb right here and not fuck it up. So aside from the non-reciprocating charging handle, you have ambidextrous bolt catch and bolt release and a magazine release button that's found on both sides as well, making it very ambidextrous. So if you're right-handed or left-handed, you could use this gun and it'll feel very natural to you. The APC is similar to the AR-15 platform. When you're taking it apart, you just simply separate the upper from the lower. And in order to take apart your gun, you just need to push these pins out, the front takedown pin and the rear takedown pin, similar to that of an AR-15. So if you're familiar with cleaning an AR-15, you should be right at home with this gun. Now to take apart the APC, you just need to push the front takedown pin as well as the rear takedown pin, similar to that of an AR-15. Once you have that pushed out, your lower should separate from your upper, similar to an AR-15. So this is the lower receiver for the BNT APC gun. As you can see, it's very similar to the AR-15 lower, except for the fact that it doesn't have a buffer system. It has the AR-15 trigger, put it on fire, and just release trigger. As you can see, it's very AR-15. Now this is the upper receiver for the BNT APC gun. So first you have to just push down on the suppressor, take it out. It's easier than a threaded one. A lot faster to take off and put on as well. For the buttstock, you simply slide it down and it comes right off. The recoil spring should pop right out and then the bolt is kept by this pin. Once you have this pin removed, your bolt should slide right on out. And here you have the upper receiver for the BNT APC taken apart. As you can see, the gun has a very simplistic design, which makes it easier for field stripping and maintenance as well. Here's the buttstock for the APC gun. As you can see, 
It's not the traditional buffer system that's found in AR platforms such as the AR9 or the AR15, depending on which one you're using. It has this as its buffer system and the recoil spring acts as an alternative to the buffer system that's found in AR-15s or the AR-9 platforms, which makes it easier and softer shooting than the typical AR-9. Another advantage this recoil system has over the AR buffer system is that you could fire this while folded. You fold the buttstock, the buffer doesn't extend beyond the plate. Now for the bolt. The bolt rides on a railing inside, which makes it similar to that of the MP5. So you have the recoil mitigation of an MP5 that's found on a system that's using an AR-15 style lower receiver, which makes it very easy to shoot and it's perfect for competition or tactical use as well. Moving on over to the BNT APC45, this is what the gun would look like when you buy it stock here in the Philippines. It comes with the aim point micro red dot and the folding butt stop. It also comes with the BNT AR15 pistol grip. Now the BNT APC45 is taken down similarly to the APC9 version. That is in fact because they are exactly the same platform. The only differentiating factor is that this one has a bigger barrel and a bigger bolt because it's chambered in 45 ACP. Now the APC gun, whether you're buying the APC-9 or the APC-45 here in the Philippines, comes stock with a curved trigger. Now this curved trigger, make sure it's safe. Now this curved trigger it's similar to a two-stage trigger that's found on AR-15s. It's almost like two-stage, but not quite a two-stage. Two-stage meaning you have a take-up right here in which the gun doesn't fire. Pull it further, and then the gun fires. Now let's talk about the pros and cons when you're buying the APC-9 or the APC-45. When you're buying the APC-9 or the APC-45, you're buying into the brand. You're buying into the brand Bruger & Thomas. It's a quality brand that will only go up in value, similar to that of HK later on down the line. You're buying a soft shooting gun. Felt recoil on this is highly mitigated, meaning you could easily shoot this while on the move and you could actually take advantage of that in a tactical setting or in a competition shooting, depending on which one you're into. Another pro of this gun is that it uses an AR-15 drop-in trigger. If you're into competition or tactical shooting, you know that's a big plus. Now, better trigger group means better groupings for your shots, as well as faster follow-up shots. Now, that's very important in a tactical setting where you have to get many rounds down range as fast as you can to eliminate a threat or faster follow-up shots, faster double taps when you're moving from target to target in a competition shooting. Another good thing about the APC-45 or the APC-9 is its size. As you can see, here's the APC-45 and here's the APC-9. You can see from its size, it's very compact. It's so compact, in fact, that you could put it in a laptop bag and since you could fire it folded, you simply just pull it out of your bag and you're good to go. Now let's talk about the downside. There's not really anything bad that I could say about this gun because honestly, this gun is fucking perfect. <laughs> except, except for the price. 
and holy fuck, it's fucking expensive. <laughs> now for this gun, you're basically paying almost half a million pesos. When you're buying this gun stock, it'll cost you around 410,000 for the APC-9 version and around 430,000 for the APC-45. Now, you can buy this gun here at Tyro Sorda, our partner range in Pampanga. You can also come check this out here at their range if you want to get a feel for it first before you make a purchase. Now, they rent these guns out. This one in particular is one we rented out at the range. So thank you Tyro Sordo for letting us borrow this gun. And thank you Tyro Sordo for selling me my favorite gun. <laughs> so there you have it guys. That's the BNT APC gun. We hope you liked this video. Make sure to like our Facebook page and like and share this video as well on Facebook. Uh, follow us on Instagram, like and subscribe on our YouTube channel, stay tuned for more. And also, make sure to come check out our website at www.thebadinternational.com and whenever you make a purchase of quality stuff, you're also helping out our channel. So thank you very much, see you in the next video.